Jochen with the ball. Carsley hits the bar. Oh no, no way. Well done by McDermott there. Minute silence, so uh, rightly observed. Sent back by Murphy, Danny Butterfield, looks for Pelton. Slightest of touches, Pelton gets it back, drives through the middle, being held off, sends in Jevons, got to be wider than Mark. Well, Tony Gallimore and Pesky Salido on the halfway line, finding something to laugh about with it. Oh, straight through everybody! Yes, that will do! Straight through everybody, bar Marlon Brooms. What a start. Can you believe it? <laughs> he appeared at the back post, nobody had seen him, and the big lad comes in, rams that ball in, left footed into the bottom corner. Meanwhile, we have somebody injured. He's down and out. And the stretcher's already out there. I think the referee must have spotted it early. Jonathan Rowan has not moved. It's a long, long time since I've seen an injury take up so much time. And fairness to the referee, he was very quickly on the scene to make sure that uh, Jonathan Rowan got treatment. And the lad is going off, but things don't look good, and we can only hope, as he goes off strapped up, that that is nowhere near as serious as it looks. Good position if you've got somebody with a really good right peg to bend this one. He's got to beat the wall, he's also got to beat Danny Coyne. Let's see what they do from this. Unlove is looking interesting. No. Deflected, and deflected in. I think Coyne had it covered. <laughs> Devlin. Oh, look at this. Great ball into the middle. It comes and in. Always coming. Paul Groves. Nicely off by Jevons, nobody to collect, Pouton is there, still Jevons, gets it into Bradley Allen, got to be, yes, Michael Jeffrey, instant repayment, Allen Pouton causing trouble outside the penalty area, ball going loose, Bradley Allen snapping it across the face of the goal, and Michael Jeffrey getting on the end of it, for his second goal of the season. Good finish from close in. Campbell up against Doolenbeek. Surely he's going to take him on. That's the case. Down to the line. Whoa. All getting a bit stupid. Alan Powton gets involved for no reason at all. Yellow card. Oulenbeek is off. Big men are in the middle and waiting for it. Well in by Brooms, just doing enough. Look at this, great run. Yep, great goal. We stood off. We allow them to play football around our own penalty area, and that's the end result. Michael Jeffrey still going. Campbell. John McDermott, Campbell at distance. Who's he found? Good effort. Oh, yeah! Well, 
It's in the back of the net. Bradley Allen. Snapshot from distance. It must have got a deflection. Bradley Allen opens his account for the season. So, last chance for Tony Gallimore. Going through the middle. Bradley Allen's a man. Or came off the back, hammered away by Sheffield United. Tony Gallimore again, inside. Brooms is available. Referee checks his watch. Brooms goes over the top, does he know? He can't get there. Allen Houghton to pick it up, but time is gone. We have a penalty shooter. Well, change round, it is Alan Powton. Alan Powton against Simon Tracy. Alan Powton, score of two penalties so far this season. Tracy saves. Danny Coyne. Ford. Yes, save! Great save! The two early kickers have missed. Skipper Paul Groves. That will do 1 0. <laughs> Against the crossbar. Two league goals this season, is it now? Well, also one in the League Cup against Lincoln. Penalty against Simon Tracy. Yes. <laughs> Devlin against Danny Coyne. Yes, good penalty. 2-1 Tony Gallimore left footed sure as anybody with that foot you're yes a cracker Shane Nicholson who basically has to score this If this is missed, this is it. And it isn't. It's a good penalty right in the bottom corner. Michael Jeffrey, score of one goal in open play. Michael Jeffrey. Yes, and that will do the job. Grimsby Town go through in the most dramatic of circumstances. steal stuff tonight <laughs> better all is forward oh it's a nasty one that's a corner kick 